doing it. Okay. You're wrong. Bob you're- Nightingale of USA Today writes that Major League Baseball officials have become cautiously optimistic this week that the season will start in late June and no later than July 2nd, playing at least 100 regular season games, according to three executives with knowledges, knowledge of the talks. They requested anonymity because the plan is still under consideration. And not only would baseball be played, how about this, Don, but it would be played in their own Major League ballparks, albeit with no fans. Major League Baseball is considering a three-division, 10-team plan in which teams play only within their division, a concept gaining support among owners and executives. It would abolish the traditional American and National Leagues and realign the divisions based on geography. The plan, pending approval of medical experts and providing that COVID-19 testing is available to the public, would eliminate the need for players to be in isolation and allow them to still play at their home ballparks while severely reducing travel. The divisions would keep many of the natural rivals together while playing one another before an expanded playoff format. Here's a look at the possible realignment structure. The East Division, Yankees, Mets, Red Sox, Nationals, Orioles, Phillies. Now, all of those games, if you're the Yankees or the Mets, are drivable or trainable. trainable. Then Pittsburgh, Toronto, Tampa Bay, and Miami. Those are not right drivable or trainable the west division dodgers angels giants a's padres diamondbacks rockies texas rangers houston astros seattle mariners so there's some there's some plane travel involved there the central the cubs the white Sox, the brewers the cardinals the royals the reds the indians the twins the braves and the tigers no braves ruin it yeah brave (laughs) braves should be in the east you might be right, Peter. It doesn't make sense. Everything else was drivable. Well, who do you Midwest. take? Who do you take out of the East then? I don't. Uh, Not Pittsburgh, right? Or or you should. Can't there be? A, there, I wish there could be a special mini South one. With the uh, Rays, Marlins, well, Braves. It, it's okay because again, they're still going to charter, so they're not going to be. In like in the traditional waiting online in airports and social distancing and all that with with strangers, they're all going to be able to get on the plane themselves. So you're cutting down on the amount of travel, but you know there'll still be a lot of the travel. That's good because we mentioned before with the the Cuomo committee of the restart in New York had pretty much all of the local teams represented in New York. So if if other states are also including their sports teams. It shows that whatever the restart is in whatever specific state, that the sports are going to be included. And these commissioners have all been talking to their local government. So for that to be out there, it tells you that it must be somewhat feasible. Now, testing is the biggest flag, Michael, that I hear because that has to get much better. You know, flattening the curve, less people in the hospital, all that. We're seeing signs of it getting better. Are we seeing enough testing? to where it could be so readily available that the general public will be comfortable with players being tested and that people in the general public are still waiting. Now, Bob goes on to write, it's also not known whether teams would have to open the season in Arizona, Florida, and Texas for several weeks before everyone could return to their home stadiums, yet they could squeeze in 100 to 110 games or perhaps even have several thousand fans in attendance before or during the playoffs. It's all coming together, one of the officials said. I'm very optimistic. Well... I'm glad that's coming together, but there's another piece that they can't choose whether it comes together. What's that? You know, the whole disease, the whole virus. Now, MLB and union officials have yet to engage in formal discussions about the financial ramifications of playing without fans, with three owners telling USA Today Sports three weeks ago that they would refuse to play unless the players were willing to take a pay cut. Four other team officials insist they would require financial relief from the players. And we, we opened up with this. I'm telling you, I've spoken to agents, they are dead set and dug in that they will absolutely not take less money. But why? Why would you be dug in? You know how bad that's going to look? And I, and I actually told a couple of agents that that's going to look bad. He goes, no, no. One of them said, we gave them relief. They, they would have had to pay us the whole salaries, and we said no. So now you want us to take a second more than a haircut. He said, I don't think the players are going to agree to it. He said, but, we're not going to agree to it. Right, and then you're not going to have a season, and the reason there's going to be no season is not because of the pandemic, but because they couldn't work out the finances for how to shorten the season. 
Because you know there'll be teams that'll be like, I'm not playing. Some of these small market teams, like if I got to pay full 162 games to these players and we're only going to play 100, I'm going to take a bath. Let's just not play. Um, one of the executives said, this is going to be a season like we've never seen, but that's fine. It's at least a season. And I would agree. Let's take some calls.